beard, grow it long, stand up strong for your kingdom. Hello everybody, I, uh, all the beer brothers out there, uh, I pray all is well. I want to talk a little about uh, the importance from a health aspect or a completeness aspect of having a beard. And a beard is, there's so many more functions to a beard than we could ever imagine. And if we have to understand that, our, first of all, our creator created us men to have hormones and hormones to uh, create characteristics of a man that are different from a woman. And one of those characteristics is that a man would have a beard. And I have a whole bunch of uh, information out there on the weakest part of a man's body is his, is his neck over here. And it's also the most important part of a man's body. Well, maybe the second most important part. But a man is supposed to be the spokesperson of the family, and the beard is like a shield for the throat. And uh, so that's not the topic of today's talk, but it's always good to remind people of that. But the beard is an extension and a completeness of the male body. And each hair, each hair, just like the hair on your head, each hair on a beard, it, it, it's, it has a nerve connected to it. You know, it's, it's, it's like an antenna or, or it's part of it. If you pull out a beard, hair, or any hair, it's going to hurt because there's a nerve connected to the end of it. And it's an extension of the nervous system of the body to protect the actual nerves of the body. But it's more than that. It's a, it's a, it's a sense of the body. It's part of the body. So we could say hair on the top of a head, you know, some people are obsessed with shaving their heads today. Uh, some people are older and they might be losing their hair, but basically the hair is like a hat on the head and it's gonna protect, one of the purposes of the hair on the head is it's gonna protect the skin on the head, the scalp from the sun that beats on the top of the head. And the sun doesn't necessarily beat directly on the face, but there's many other things that affect the nerves of the face. And the beard is an extension of this nervous system, like an antenna. And it's also, you know, it's, it's everything. Look, it's a man's whiskers. If you take a cat, you know, don't try this, but it's true. If you take a cat and cut its whiskers, it loses all sense of direction. Because it's, it's part of the way they were designed to tell, to feel, to getting too close to something, you know, it touches something. You know, a cat without a whiskers is, is a cat in trouble. You know, they, they lose their sense of direction. Well, a beard is not only the man's sense of direction in, 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 in getting his way around, but it's also it's more importantly a sense of direction in life. It, it's a, a masculine, hormonal, testosterone, physical protector. And then you look in the, in the summer, it keeps shade on the face. In the winter, it keeps the heat out. There's so many aspects or functions of having a beard that, that people are not getting. And it's quite interesting that the people with more money in this world, more access to media in this world, more access to uh, certain type of women in this world, are the men that are getting up every single day and shaving this important function of their body. But I could stop at any car light and when I see a homeless man, they have a big, a big, nice, beautiful beard. And it, it, it's really amazing. And that man that's clean shaven, going to that corporate job, is stressed out, having issues with his wife that wants him to shave his beard, whatever. But that homeless man on the corner with that big beard, with that sign at that red light, is often smiling. I'm not talking about people that are messed up in drugs and alcohol. So I'm talking about people that live voluntary simplicity. That man's smiling. There's, there's, it's just, there's two worlds out there. There really is. And when you start living your life with a beard, you start seeing a whole different world. And you're viewed in a different way, but you view things in a different way. And you, you do go out there with a sense of protection a sense of strength because you're a man and 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 not only do you look like a man and you know it but everyone else knows it and there's a different type of respect 
for men with beards than there's not. And I'm not talking about that woman that's obsessed with shaving or that corporate jobs that are obsessed with, you know, men that look like women. I'm talking about just living and knowing, you know, just uh, what a protector, you know, what, 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 what a man, what, what, you know, what he looks like. You know, I always found it interesting that the, the portrayal of these superheroes are all clean shaven. You know, but they don't have that masculine look of a man with a beard. And I'm so glad beards are back in style now because there was a while there in the 80s and 90s where, you know, you, as soon as you saw somebody with a beard, it was, they're homeless. Thanks to Duck Dynasty, uh, they became more popular again and uh, now it's accepted, it's normal. You don't really look like a rabbi or a homeless person. You look like a, a masculine person. And uh, and to see commercials on TV with men with beards and even politician with beards. You know, in the old days, presidents had beards. Look at President Lincoln, had a beard. You know, so it, it definitely uh, makes a difference. And we can take this all the way back to biblical times where the, the Hebrew Israelites, they had beards. And then you look at the the Egyptians, some of them had some funky beards so that are shaved up and shaped up, but for the most part, they were obsessed with shaving. And, you know, they shaved and they put on their makeup. So you had bald Egyptians with mascara. <laughs> and then you had the Israelites who had the big beards. That's what's going on today. You have clean shaven men wearing mascara, or you have men with beards. You know, we, we, we could say to a degree there's a middle middle to that, but the reality is there's not a middle to that. It's the mindset of the clean-shaven, makeup, fake-up, manscaping man versus the masculine, strong, protective man with a beard. And when you realize that, you decide which side you want to choose and which side you want to be on. All right, until then, fellas, thanks for watching, and beard on. Grow your beard, grow it long, stand up strong for your kingdom.